Alfa Romeo's range is slowly being revitalized, and the stylish and likable Stelvio follows in the footsteps of the excellent Giulia. Alfa's first SUV is expected to be its biggest seller, but it does have a tough fight on its hands with rivals like the Mercedes GLC, BMW X3, Jaguar F-Pace, and even the Porsche Macan to beat. The Stelvio inherits perhaps the most important quality of any Alfa Romeo with uniquely desirable styling, standing out in the SUV crowd. The interior is similarly attractive to the eye, although the Germans still have it beaten for fit and finish and rear seat space. But there's substance here, too, as the Stelvio is great to drive, with strong engines and agile, involving handling for an SUV. It certainly transferred the Julius DNA over in this regard, although the ride isn't as comfortable as the best rivals. Overall, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio is definitely worth a look if you're bored of the German establishment. It's got style and flair in spades, and deserves to succeed in a saturated market. Our choice. Alfa Romeo Stelvio Super 2.2 Turbo Diesel 207 BHP. The Stelvio is another mid-size SUV in a market that's fit to bursting. It's a rival to the very competent German trio of the Mercedes GLC, the Audi Q5 and the aging but still relevant BMW X3. Into that mix we must add our 2016 car of the year, the Jaguar F-Pace, while the sleek Volvo XC60 and 7-seat Land Rover Discovery Sport are also tough competition. But to view the Stelvio as just another SUV is unfair, because it's Alfa Romeo's first entrance into the segment, and along with the new Giulia Saloon it's tasked with boosting the Italian car brand slim market share in the UK. You could say the Stelvio's nearest competition is the Jaguar F-Pace. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio is in fact very similar to the F-Pace, it comes from a company that has a legendary history in producing sports vehicles, had fallen a little on hard times and has ambitions to take on German premium rivals that have traditionally been thwarted by a lack of products and investment. But, like Jaguar, it would seem Fiat Group is really starting to invest in the Alfa Romeo brand by allowing it to have its own products using its own architecture, no Fiat Punto based Alfa Romeos here. The complex new Giorgio platform is being used for the Giulia and the Stelvio, and a raft of other models will spawn from it too. Most of those new products from Giorgio are likely to be SUVs because that's what's appealing to most European, American, and Chinese customers. Like it or not, SUVs are selling in big numbers, and luckily for Alfa the Stelvio should appeal to brand aficionados as well as new customers. The Stelvio features four trim levels in the UK. Base cars come with 17-inch alloys, an 8.8-inch rotary-controlled infotainment system, 8 speakers, and electric.